Hello YouTube, Jazza here. So, a few weeks ago, oddly, Google were like, hey, do you want to interview Dave Franco, the actor, about the film Now You See Me Too that he's starring in? And I was like, I do politics and satire and things. What's wrong with you? Yes, I will definitely do that. The film, I believe, is still in cinemas. Otherwise, this is a very late video and out of date. But if it is, just deal with it. I think that we had a lovely chat. We didn't talk about the movie very much. I don't think I'm the best interviewer when I have a topic that I have to stick at. But I hope you enjoy it. So like and share this video, or else, um, on with the show. Okay. Hey, Dave. Jazza. Hi. Yeah. Um, I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. Good. Like, I'm, I'm right there with you. I've never... Excellent! Yeah. Great. So I have never interviewed somebody about a film that's coming out uh, never? before. <laughs> like, oh, no never? No way. All right, let's do it. I was clearly it. quite far down the list of people that they were asking. Let's get strange. Um, give, me uh, some, give me some weird questions. Uh, I have nothing Not... weird. Okay, that's all um, right. Although I do have something a bit weird. Yeah. This... You have to promote movies, like, all the time, right? Sure, sure. Um... Does it ever get like slightly monotonous and dull talking about yourself? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten to the point where, you know, when you're on a press tour, you basically answer the same three questions. Over... Okay, what are the three questions that I'm meant to be asking you as yeah. a professional? Um, did you learn any new tricks for the movie? Yeah, loads. I'm answering these four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, loads. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> um, what was it like working with Daniel Radcliffe? Uh, it was weird seeing him in that much ermine. Yes. Yeah, word for word from <laughs> yeah, my mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the last one, what was it like returning with this great cast? Uh, like, really good. Obviously, Michael Caine is always a letdown on set, but everybody else was great. Always a letdown? <laughs> <laughs> That's obvious. He is a national treasure, and I retract all of the above. Good answers, though. Um, good uh, answers. Is there... I'm going to ask the cheesiest question. Give it. Is there anything that pe you wish that people had been asking you about this movie? Because obviously, ooh. you've been lucky enough... Not every movie gets a sequel. Yeah. You, you somehow managed to get every movie that you're in into a sequel. It feels I've like. been pretty lucky. Well done. Thank I'm you. I'm going to put it all down to you. You know what? I'm going to take like 0.08% credit for the sequels that I've been involved in. Excellent. Um, but no, honestly, I have, I know how fortunate I am to be not only working, but to like be working on projects that I'm like passionate about, that yeah, I'm happy yeah, 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 yeah. with. That's like, again, I don't take that for granted. And what was the initial question that we were going for? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> like I said, way out of my depth. Cool, there. cool. <laughs> um, uh, when you're doing like these press tours, yeah. at what point do you kind of go into autopilot and think, just stop asking me the same questions? You know, I try not to. And it's a lot easier when I'm doing it with someone else in the cast so yeah. we can kind of play off each other. So or with someone like you who's like fun and like wants to like go off book a little bit. We've known each other five minutes. Listen though, no, listen, I'm not just blowing steam. It's like a lot of a lot of people that are interviewing you, they they literally aren't even listening. They're, mm -hmm. And you're like trying to like connect and make jokes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're all they're thinking about is their next question. And so you, you know, you're, you, you say some joke and sometimes it's a good joke and you just get this. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, is how, exactly how I feel when I, so I kind of do some funny stuff cool. on the internet. I'm sporadically funny. Is tell me, I? tell me like, how would you describe your brand of funny? Um, so I'm like satirical political commentary that's cool. just generally irate at the world. Okay. Which is why it's quite <laughs> odd that I've been asked to talk about a movie with Gotcha, me. gotcha. Um, uh, and I, ha I like... It's... How did this interview come about for you? <laughs> like, I got an email from Google and I was like, sure. Randomly, they were like, hey, do you yeah, want to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm here, like, we're at the space and I'm here all the time. Right, right. And so I think I'm, I bug them enough. Good. They think, yeah, sure, why not? Come along. Glad um, you're here, uh, man. And I ran it by, so my mates at the office. Yeah. I ran it by them and they were like, you would be crazy not to do this. Cool. Um, uh, and also I have a couple of girl mates who I share a desk with. Got it. They first of all want to know how you smell. I won't... Describe uh, my smell. No, no, you No, I want you to. Uh, yeah. Uh... Don't, mm, don't, don't hold any punches, please. Like, like, citrusy musk. 
Excellent. Um, So there you go. That's going to tick all of the boxes for the people that I have to go back and work with later on today. Um, uh, And what what else did they tell me? They were like, um, uh, they wanted to just talk about how attractive you were. Does that ever get annoying? I don't know. Because, for example, I have a great beard. (laughs) You do have a fantastic beard. Thank you. I just wanted you to say that. No, no, no. Can I talk about when I try to grow a beard? Yeah, of course you can. And maybe you can see a little bit. It doesn't come in here. It doesn't. There is quite a large gap about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, and I had to grow a beard for a movie. Uh huh. Did they end up putting on like a prosthetic? You know thing? they did. What yeah, else did they, they do? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm very envious of that beard. How long does that take? A really fucking long. Does time. it? Okay. <laughs> like so How long. How much maintenance? It is looked that? terrible for about six months. Sure. Okay. And I did have the patchiness. I have so much neck beard. Which, as you can see, I have to kind of maintain. How often? <laughs> like Daily. Every two Daily. days. Okay, Otherwise, yeah. it just looks like something is trying to overtake gotcha. the rest of my face. How big have you gotten it? Uh, so it has ended up about down here. And do you, do different girls, are different gr- types of girls attracted to you with that beard line? I'm sure loads of girls are, but they're not my type. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> uh, but also, but so uh, if we're going to talk about this, yeah. so for gay guys, yeah. I've gotten way less attention. And I'm like, am I not a twink anymore? Gotcha. How could gotcha. you? And it's almost heartbreaking. <laughs> it's it's like you, I've shot myself. Do you myself look like that. a completely different person? Do you have a completely. picture of yourself? I do. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? That is what I look like. No way. Yeah. I know, right? I have a chin. When was this taken? That was like six months, seven months ago? I would have said this was 13 and a half years ago. Yeah, I know. I I look really fucking old now. I like this look. I like both, but I like this look a lot. You can stay. (laughs) Um, But what's also great is that now I get to claim minority status because I'm quite ginger. (laughs) <laughs> like, and I wasn't expecting this. And it's like this Anglo-Saxon thing that we get that everything else is really, really like, I mean, brown, normal. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden we grow beards and it's like, boom, copper. I, 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 you know what? I'm, I'm, it feels like I'm just giving you compliments, but I like a good ginger, man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate a good ginger. I feel like... When I pretend to be straight, most of the girls I went for were redheads. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's like we're, like we're totally the same person. Gro- just... gro- growing up, growing up, did being being a ginger. Yeah. Did <laughs> did like people make fun of you? Were they did they like you because they maybe there weren't as many gingers around? So <laughs> there's this terrible thing where gingers actually get a load of abuse. Growing exactly. Up. That's what I feel. Um, uh, but yeah. what was really lucky is that when this started coming through, I'd get like three or four hairs. Yeah. It was like pushing copper play-doh through one of those little holes. Gotcha. Like, it just I'm come you. out like this, like I'm something that's trying to, like, curl around and strand. <laughs> right. Um, but in general, no, I was actually quite lucky. The good, rest good. of the red, he- there's the short Why is it that school. gingers get the short end of the stick? Why do, why do people, like... because we're dying out. Because we're a recessive gene and we're buggards. I like a good ginger. Yeah. <laughs> are you... So when you're looking at um, gingers, yeah. are you more of a... Top heavy ladies and the things that I like, or a long legged lady? Because I had the only reason I'm asking this mm-hmm. is because when I was re- pretending to be straight in my mm-hmm, youth, mm-hmm. Um, uh, I had two principal girlfriends. Yeah. One of them had fantastic boobs, sure. the other one had amazing legs. I just want to know which one you would have gone for. I can what I, has can, this I can I th- can I throw a third option in? <laughs> of course you can. I like a good butt. Right. Okay. That's yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. um. I don't know what else to say. That's the answer. That's what I transferred <laughs> to after I came out. And yeah. So okay. Nice. Like, yeah. yeah. No. Fantastic. Um. Question. Do. Is it okay? Like, do you do you mind being called ginger? Like, is there or is that? Um. I think I'm actually technically more of an Auburn. An Orban. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah? Kind of like as if something flecked from the northern lights. That's what I like to think my beard is. You know what? Yes. Yeah, isn't, <laughs> is, isn't it a great word? Ginger Orban. feels almost abrasive. Whereas Orban is like, oh, yeah, I'm you know what? that. No matter what my next role is, <laughs> I'm becoming Orban. I'm going to be <laughs> Please Orban. Please do. Yeah. I also accidentally gonna... became completely ginger when I was, like, 16. What do you mean accidentally? <laughs> so, you know when you buy those, like, Weller packs of hair dye no 
you, you, can, you can get like hair dye from okay. the shops. Okay. Like off the shelf, sure. really okay, bog standard it. stuff. I'm sure that you would get it professionally done, sir. Don't, um, don't uh, give me that. I like the Wellers, just like anyone you else. You didn't know what that was about 30 <laughs> seconds ago. Don't give me shit. Um, uh, and we bought, for some reason, all of us, it was like we were turning into a cult. A load of my friends from school okay. decided we're all going to go blonde. And we all decided to go platinum How blonde. blonde. Oh, platinum. Okay, um, yeah. We didn't leave the dye in our hairs long enough. And we were just all kind of straw. Be blonde for Got the rest it. of the summer. Got it. it was terrible. And back and how in many day, of you were there? That was, there was the like crew seven of strawberry of blondes. So really? <laughs> like even we if you went platinum, falling down the country lanes. What was great. what was the decision process? Where it's like, all right, guys, gonna be a gang of platinum blondes. Seven of you guys rolling down the street. That's not a good idea. I feel like we thought we were almost channeling Clockwork Orange or something on those you know lines. What? That we were like, because when I you take back up, everything I said. Thank <laughs> there was method behind the okay, madness. Okay. It's just we were really crap at following. Got it, it. Got it. It was appalling. <laughs> um, I want to. Shall we talk about the bloody movie? If you want. Um, uh, because apparently that's what you're meant to do. Yes. Um, uh, why are the British people the only evil people in the movie? Good question. You like really, it, really good question. It happens all the time. And you've gotten two of our best, finest actors. I know. And you've I made know. them evil and dressed them up in ermine. And, and Rad- it's all very odd. Radcliffe would even talk about it. He's like, I feel like it's a rite of passage <laughs> to, to play. play like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it shouldn't be that way, should it? I know, right? I think that, well, because I think it's very easy for you guys to be like, oh, he's got a bit of an accent. He must be evil. I know, but like, I feel like we got to be past that at this point. So what accents would you be casting as the evil characters? Um... Be careful. <laughs> exactly. I don't think there's there's no right answer here. Uh, uh, okay, like 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 uh, someone who sounds like me. I'm just gonna throw myself under the bus. No, right? You cop out. You <laughs> absolute <laughs> coward. You could have put like Belgian or Canadian. No, that wouldn't be good either. <laughs> uh, nobody nobody really cares about the Belgians. It's fine. The Belgian like the Belgians are great. You're lovely lovely people, but you're the e- they are the easiest country to go to because nobody really you're has digging an yourself a hole. You're digging yourself a I feel like <laughs> that, well actually to be fair, the Eurostar goes straight there, so I'm buggered if I ever go to the mainland <laughs> anymore. Or like Canadian. Now that Justin Trudeau's in power, everyone loves him. They're great. <laughs> I'm just, I, I feel like I don't know how Are to you... contribute to this conversation. <laughs> I can just keep on insulting in countries. Mouth. Yeah, sure, like. sure. <laughs> I have, like, is there anything else that you'd like me to ask? Because I feel like I'm offended. I'd you. like to know about... Oh, hello again. So I'm going to stop this portion of that video here because then... Dave asked me a load of questions about me and YouTube and it probably not hugely uh, entertaining for those of you that came here to just hear about Dave Franco and his movie. So it'd be quite rude of me. If you do want to um, watch the continued conversation, there's like 10 more minutes, uh, then uh, press, press here, L- click here, watch the video and me and Dave just have more more talk and it was nice thanks for watching uh like comment and follow like comment engage comment like okay bye bye (laughs)